again. Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. Yes, all we need today is just a couple of nice chords, very little skill and some beautiful patterns and we'll create beautiful music. Also check out on my channel, I have everything for you, um, beautiful accompanying patterns, great song tutorials from blues to pop from all centuries. Um, check them out. If you enjoy this one, please leave a like, it helps my channel to grow. Now let's create some beauty. Enjoy. First of all, we need to create a lovely ocean that is the basis for what we then play in the right hand and we start with the chord. We just need very few chords and a very simple pattern and we start with the D minor chord. Beautiful, no, no black keys and just back and forth softly as the morning sunrise, in this case softly as the soft waves in a beautiful ocean and then what is this you might ask you see it in the display it's the a minor with the c in the bass you see it's just an inversion of a minor and then softly going to this bit it's just the b flat but don't worry that's the only chord that it has the root on the black key so the full b flat major triad would be this one and we just play the root and the fifth and the octave not too hard until now huh and it stays that easy and f and we just in order to not get to the next uh, 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 turn around and to the next chorus we okay let's play it i just play watch my left hand i just play a little bit here Mm. Watch my left hand, this is still for the left hand. So, and this is... <laughs> It's already wonderful, isn't it? So you see very basic chords, basic um, pattern in the in the left hand. Now we want to do something with the right hand. Here's the ocean. Yeah, I'm I'm your Bob Ross for today. The German Bob Ross creating a seascape. And it suits the feeling of what we are gonna do. Because here are living beautiful clouds and birds as we stay. Um, uh, very close to the uh, to the chord notes, yeah. So now you see what we do here. It's just a warm up. Don't worry. It's but it's already a little flock of seagulls. It's just an inversion of the D minor chord, and then we have the A minor chord. needs very little independence just a little bit and then you will make friends with this again it's just chord notes left hand and right hand and you will see the pattern makes all uh, make the patterns make all the difference and for you. This is a very beautiful pattern and we will now extend what we learned. Uh, it's going to be the, uh, this one. What 
is it? It sounds intricate and it's intricate. It's a beautiful warm breeze over our soft seascape now. And it sounds intricate because um, it's in between now these chord notes, but it's very easy. And we are grabbing also, you know, you remember the chord notes now from D minor. And we just need from every chord note here from the top note, we need the next white key below the top note. Okay, that's manageable. So, and we said one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. One and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, you got the pattern? And then we go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one. You see that I was just anticipating the next chord a little bit again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and it's the uh, it's the uh, next uh, a note to the left from the top chord note of A minor. Show you again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one. One, you see, we have this. You remember the B flat chord, and again, it's the next white note to the <coughs> chord note, which is D. Again, from B. Chord notes here, yeah, always chord notes. Again, so and here we anticipate the F bit, which are. These are the F chords. And one more time. Soft breeze. start it repeat this you could also always good I I improvise this kind of stuff a lot when I play in hotels or where to back a little bit of background music um, where they do not want to do like um, hammering uh, rock and roll then I sometimes uh, do just like that because it has become a very popular sound in in uh, film scores and film music uh, and you can imitate that just like I do that with you it's very it's um, like Yanni Van Tiersen and like Amelie, they all have this kind of arpeggiated um, uh, 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 meandering uh, piano music. And then the simplest trick is in the next the next uh, chorus you play uh, played up here, and you have a manage another five minutes of your underpaid gig. And very often uh, people come to me and ask, hey, what is that song called? That's so beautiful. And I say, that song called, is called Christian, and that is me. And they, are, they think I'm a genius, but I'm definitely not. Uh, I just know a couple of chords and a couple of patterns. Let's uh, uh, see how, how far we can take you on this beautiful 
Seascape. And now let's imagine a couple of seagulls are, you know, flying over the, the seascape. You see, contrasting because we have a wider um, voicing here. Yeah, before it was like a sixth interval and now we have here. But you see, I want you to still recognize the D minor chord in this. Yeah, it's the, the third, the fifth. Have it sl slowly one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Hey, beautiful light, uh, smiling seagulls. Well, it sounds a bit sad, but maybe why shouldn't seagulls uh, be a bit sad? Guess it, it's A minor coming, coming. You see beautiful wide open voice voicing like the wide open sky. We have uh, of the A minor, we have the uh, fifth, the E. You don't even have to know the note names. That's the beauty about it. Um, you, didn't, you don't even have to know my name to play this. You see the B flat triad here hidden, third, fifth, and the, the upper is always repeated, the octave from below. with a little bit of yearning and uh, and a sad, a beautiful sad melancholy at the seaside. Uh, yeah, 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 Christian, talk too much. Okay, again. Is there more for you? Let's find out. Yeah, usually my tutorials, you know, uh, in the course of the lesson, they, they get harder. But now we have something very easy. Easy is beautiful in this case. Uh, listen to this. Uh, hold on. Did I play? How many bars did I play always here? It doesn't matter. You can double them. Like one, two. That was utterly romantic. Destroyed it all. Imagine Bob Ross would sneeze on one of his paintings. Incredible. We don't want to even imagine the color. Okay, why is this beautiful at this moment? Because we have this diddly 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 did, and this gives it a kind of, uh, you know, and this gives it a kind of peaceful rest, you know, just now the full chords um, is just right at this moment. And we play the, you see what, you see what it is, eh? we just play the uh, inversion of D minor and then just play the lower part of the chord. We just drop the, um, drop the octave. Why not drop the octave occasionally? And then the same on, on A. to check how many uh, I lost it how many if I doubled this or didn't let me just check sorry I doubled I doubled it's just like this um, three two bars one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one Three and four. But 
you can, of course, repeat the whole thing. You know, it's a it's a wide atmosphere. Repetition here is just um, the thing to do. Ready for one more? With the next <coughs> uh, next pattern, we give it a little bit of edge. So, in contrast, uh, the seascape is getting even wider when we put a little bit of edge in between. A couple of uh, stone pebbles, maybe. Yeah, on a beach uh, with the um, seascape, we have a couple of stone pebbles living here, and it sounds like this. Sorry again, I just ate a stone pebble. And that could be also the end.